Let's try to understand what it means to have a over b to the power of a negative 1 because we don't really understand what it means to have a power of a negative. So many ways of doing this. One, one way is to get everything onto one layer. Here you've got two layers, 1, 2. So imagine this as being imagine this as being one block times another block. So imagine this as being a times 1 over b because if I were to give you this, you would multiply it to the top giving you a over b. So when you get a fraction like this, drag the a out. So it looks like this. And then, and then um, you've got a block of a times a block of, get this onto one layer. That's the same as b to the power of minus 1. And then close it off, and then you've got your minus 1 on the outside. Because, because remember, um, b to the power of minus 1 is the same as 1 over b. So if I give you 1 over b, you can jump back to um, b to the power minus 1. Well, anyway, once it's in this form, imagine there's a 1 here because a to the power of 1 is a. So now you can just get this, multiply it with this. That will then give you, that will then give you a to the power of negative 1. And then you, so that's one block, and then times this block. So you would get negative 1 times negative 1. That would be b to the power of the positive 1 which is the same as b. So now you've got one block multiplying with another block. Um, we don't understand what it means to have a power of a negative, so we immediately jump to 1 over a to the power, to the power of the positive version. But then a to the power of 1 is just a. The point is that this block is the same as this block, and then multiply it with this block, b. So now you've got a fraction times a block of b. This thing here gets multiplied to the top giving you b over a. So after all that, this thing here equals b over a. So, so when you have to the power of negative 1, what you do is you turn the fraction upside down. That's what it means, okay?